I am Debbie Corwin with TA Toolkit and also with NWA Getaways Dream Vacations. And with us today, we have Stephen Gould, and I am going to let Stephen introduce himself because he has a very diverse background uh, that he can bring to us and share some information with us on how we can do better in our business. Definitely. Thank you very much for the invite and for hosting today, uh, Debbie. Um, my name is Stephen Gould. I am the Chief Innovation Officer over here at Travel Advisor Resource Center, but we're going to call it TARC for short. I am also the owner of Gould's Travel, which has been open since 2010, and also the newly founded Luxera Travel, which is a luxury agency that started in February, uh, January of this year. That's awesome. So uh, 2010, so about 13 years. Yep. You look like you, you, Stephen, I'm sorry, but you look like you might have started it when you were about 13. <laughs> yeah, you know, back then I used to have hair and everything, now I'm going on 35, so it's a little bit different nowadays. Was it, was it the, um, was it being a travel agent that made you lose that? <laughs> you know, I'm pretty sure it was. So sleepless nights and everything else going on. <laughs> right, right. Oh, I totally get that. So um, tell me a little bit about, I wanted to talk to you about um, what you've seen in the industry as far as risks that travel agents don't even realize that they, uh, that they have out there. Yeah, so honestly, in our industry, the risks are endless, unfortunately. There's so much liability that we take on as travel agents. And honestly, that's why I push to everybody to make sure you have your um, kind of CYA, cover your assets, as we like to say. Um, make sure you have your terms and conditions, your errors and emissions insurances, pretty much everything that you need to kind of cover yourself and make sure that you have developed a bit of a plan for yourself and your business so that you kind of have a trajectory of where you want to end up in the next three, five, and 10 years too, because honestly, it kind of helps keep you on a good path. So terms and conditions, talk to me a little bit about that. Some of us, like personally, I have a franchise and then there are others who are you know, hosted, others who are independent. Do you have uh, any recommendations as far as the term and conditions and, and where they get those? Yeah, so actually, um, Travel Advisor Resource Center has partnered with an attorney, Lawrence D. Gore and Associates, down in the Fort Lauderdale area, and he actually provides a huge compilation package of different templates, and that's terms and conditions, that's independent contractor agreement, travel insurance waivers, credit card authorizations. Um, there's a whole suite that he offers, but outside of that, uh, we do have a list of industry attorneys on our website as well. So if you go right over to traveladvisorresourcecenter.com or the TARC, T A R C, dot com for short, you can actually click on the attorneys tab and see a whole list of industry attorneys from Tom Carpenter, Lawrence Gore. There's probably about seven or eight different ones on there. And I do recommend that you try to talk to an actual attorney when you're putting together your terms and conditions because every business, just like what you said, you're a franchise. Our agency is more independent under our host. Every business is different. So you want to make sure that you have what you need. And then the same is true when we're talking about liability, making sure you have your independent contractor agreements and everything kind of buttoned up that way if you do plan on growing your business. Okay. So those attorneys will do them individually. That's not like a, um, a template package. It's it, You talk to them and they take, uh, tailor them to you. Yeah, so each depends who you talk to, honestly. Some of them do use a template package kind of starting out, or some of them might just have a generic template that they start with. But if you actually contract and put an attorney on retainer, um, usually they will customize your own terms and conditions for your business. Okay. That, that makes a lot of sense. Have you? Uh, do you have any stories about agents you've seen that didn't have in place what they needed and, and what happened with that? Yeah, and I can kind of talk on both sides, unfortunately. Um, there are some agents that I know that haven't had terms and conditions. They were dealing with chargebacks. They were dealing with fees not being um, kind of in effect properly because they their clients were not signing on the proper dotted line that they needed to where their fees were actually listed. Um, so unfortunately, they run into a couple disputes in those regards. But even people who have unfortunately had all their I's dotted, T's crossed and everything, they still unfortunately face some lawsuits and chargebacks and all that. And again, that's just kind of the risk within our industry is that we're not always protected, even though 
we think we are. And every attorney that you chat with would say the same thing that unfortunately you can be sued for anything. It's just a matter of making sure you have all of your, again, I's dotted, T's crossed to make sure you have some level of protection there. Yeah, yeah. Anybody can file that lawsuit, but it's that you want to make sure that you have the, the stuff in place so that you win. Right? Exactly. That's exactly it. Yeah. And, and you know, um, another good point is that if you do ha have all that stuff in place, they filed the lawsuit and then your attorney turns around and gives their attorney everything. That might be the point where their attorney advises them, you don't have a case. So Absolutely. That, that would really mitigate the the um, cost for you to fight that lawsuit as well. 100%. And I will say too, when it comes down to the terms and conditions, make sure that you are actually having your client sign that. Don't just put it on your website and assume that you're protected. It is something that you do want to have your client sign, whether it's through your CRM, through something like Cognito Forms that you're actually creating and having them sign, Google Docs, Google Forms, anything like that. Just make sure you're getting it signed. And Google Docs and Google Forms, that's that's free, right? So Absolutely. that's not anything that you have to pay extra for like a Jot form or uh, or anything like that. So that's good. Awesome. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> tell me about, did you tell us when TARC started? Uh, TARC started in 2020. So, you know, perfect timing to get everything okay. launched. <laughs> Sound like TA Toolkit. <laughs> right, exactly. We have we have time. Let's find something else to do. <laughs> That's exactly it. What did you see uh, going on that that got you to start Tark? And tell me who else is involved. It's not just you, right? Uh, no, with Tark, I actually am the uh, sole owner of Tark. You we are, do right? have a team of business development managers and whatnot that actually help us out through everything and keep the wheels moving forward. Because you know, it's a one man gig is a little difficult, as I'm sure. You guys are very used to over at TA Toolkit that now you've got a team and everything kind of helping out. So mm -hmm. it's a lot different running with more people to help out. So what did you see in the marketplace that that made you got, get this started? Yeah. So to be honest with you, there's really no like true industry regulation in our industry. So what that means is there's a bunch of different points of entry. So whether you come in through a host agency or yourself like a franchise or you find something like Asta, a lot of people pretty much find one way to get in, and that's just what they assume is the way to become a travel agent. Mm -hmm. um, outside of just the barrier point of entry, once you are in the industry, a lot of people kind of flounder around looking for the right resources. They reach out to their host or franchise or consortium partners and kind of ask, you know what, this is where I am, where do I go from here? And there's CLIA, there's IATA, there's a true number, there's the ARC number, there is literally way too much out there. So we actually decided to create Travel Advisor Resource Center to kind of be a hub for all of that. We wanted one-stop shop where agents, whether they're new to the industry or they've been around for 30 years, that can come to our website and kind of find exactly what they're looking for. So we have things like the Travel Agency Puzzle that is completely free resource. And it talks about different pieces of your puzzle. There's like 28 pieces that you should have within your business. And those are things from e &O insurance, to an accountability plan, to a backup buddy, so on and so forth. There's 28 different things that we've kind of really honed in on that you should have within your business. And you can kind of go through and select which ones you're missing. And then we have a written blog for each of those individuals. So you can try to find the answers to get those missing pieces. But that's just one of the many different things that you can find on our website. Oh, that's really interesting. I, I had not seen that one yet. So, <laughs> And that's sometimes the problem. Like I said, there's so many different resources out there that there are so many of these that sometimes it's just there's not enough time in the day to go through everything. Yeah. No, that you're very true. That's very true. I remember when I went to my training nine years ago, um, there was a woman there talking about uh, joining CLIA, and I can't remember some of the other things she was talking about. I was like, I haven't even heard of CLIA. I was just looking for a business for, at that time, it was for my husband. And mm. um, and then he ended up getting a job offer three days after <laughs> um, <laughs> after we bought our franchise. Uh, but anyway, she was in there talking about CLIA and the people were talking about going to the national conference cruise in a couple of months. And I knew none of this stuff. I didn't know about ASTA for probably years. And you're right. There is just so much out there. 
Um, one of my newest associates asked me last night, she was signing up for the Marriott fantastic training and rates and all that. And yep. she's like, they're asking me for my IATA or my CLIA. What in the world is that? And she's just been with me a couple of weeks. So it wasn't, you know, I try to spoon feed a little bit so that you don't get overwhelmed. There's just so much information. There really is. And honestly, that's kind of why at the top of our website, we kind of narrowed things down into different subcategories, whether they are different industry associations, we have an events calendar, we have different Facebook groups, we have special services like the TA toolkit and whatnot listed on there, because there are so many of these great resources out in the industry that people just won't know until they stumble upon it, or if they have a mentor or somebody to kind of guide them. So that is, like I said, why we created TARP. Right. That's that's awesome. I'm so glad that there's a resource like that out there. Um, are there other resources that are similar? How do you dif if there are, how do you um, how do you differentiate yourself? Why? Why is TARP better? Yeah. So to be honest with you, I don't really feel like we have true competitors. And I do say that because one of my biggest mantras is community over competition, because the idea and the prospect of TARP truly is to highlight all of the different businesses and services that are within our industry. Um, so that's why I say I don't really feel like I have a competitor, not to sound um, like cocky or anything like that, but truly because our job is to highlight everybody that's in this industry who would possibly be a competitor. So that's host agency reviews, but also find a host travel agency.com. That is um, a company like Teak, who puts together all of your branding and everything, and a company like Travel Biz Boss, who helps out with your organization. So really, that's kind of what our job is, is pointing to all of these amazing people who have created such amazing organizations throughout the industry. That's, that's awesome. And that's one of the things that I absolutely love about, um, I call it Travelpreneur. Um, community, people like like you, like me, like Lori Gold and, um, and several others out there who have that travel agent knowledge and experience and have created something that they saw in the, uh, was a hole in the marketplace where, where a need was. Uh, I mean, we've got so many resources out there that were honestly created by executives and, and their IT teams, right? That, right? But they're not users. Yeah. So to have something that is created by users is um, is really what's needed out there. So I totally yeah. agree. And as bad as the pandemic was and everything that we've gone through for the last three years and everything, I do have to say the pop up of all of these incredible businesses has been such a godsend for this industry, just because I mean, I know even on the supplier side, they were able to get a lot of their training programs finalized and really kind of hone in their resources as well to help travel agents kind of start learning how to book these different suppliers, sell these different ones, learn about the competition out there. So it really kind of differentiated and elevated the whole industry. I agree with you 100% on that. Yep, exactly what I've been saying. So um, let's see, I was looking to see, I've got a list here of things I wanted to talk <laughs> talk to you about. We've actually talked to, about most of them already. Um, Perfect. <laughs> and and we're only 13 minutes in what do you know <laughs> i know absolutely That's time efficient <laughs> yeah definitely what else um what else do you see out there coming down the road for for travel industry anything uh, honestly i think the possibilities are endless one of the things that i tell everybody in this industry it's a kind of unfortunate truth is that our technology is so far behind the times compared to a lot of other industries so i think just having that lack in that market right now there is so much room for opportunity with technology revamping i know there's a lot of different crms being created um you created ta toolkit which is an amazing search functionality there's new profilers and everything out there so there's just so much room for all of this extra technology to come into the place that's that you know that's an excellent point that was that was one of the first things that surprised me when I became a travel agent was um, logging into, I don't want to call anybody out because it's it's any of them, Vax, Vacation Express, Pleasant Holidays, all of them. And you go in there and it's like, okay, I want to, oh, you want to go anywhere in the Caribbean? I've got to perform 30 different searches to find something. That's, that, there's no reason for that. There's right, no I totally agree. All come up, Yeah. <laughs> 
So I, I was, I'm with you with the pandemic. It really gave us some time to, uh, to step back and say, okay, what can we do about this? And right. uh, I did, that was my whole job before I came uh, into the travel industry was continuous improvement manager for a manufacturing company. And so oh, wow. I just was able to take what I did there, which was using technology to work smarter, faster, more accurately, um, and move it over into this industry. So I hope that I hope that there are a lot of others that follow that um, that path and create some of these amazing new uh, new technolo technological resources that we all need just to work. Oh my gosh, to, to, to have to spend hours to research a resort <laughs> that your client wants is ridiculous when all the information's out there. No, so, I totally and, agree. And to have to Google and figure out which ones are the right resources when we have something like TARC uh, out there that we can look up. Absolutely. And again, that's what all of these companies are here for, for sure. And I mean, I will say one of my life changes has been a CRM and also an itinerary builder. I think it's kind of streamlined a lot of my systems and processes. Um, and like I mentioned, a company like Travel Biz Boss is out there to help out with your Travify or I'm sorry, your Travel Joy buildouts. And we help out with test buildouts and whatnot. And I know there's other big CRMs that are kind of getting into this industry right now too. So definitely looking forward to seeing what that's going to look like in the next three to five years. Awesome. Well, I know that you did a newsletter for us. Uh, I think it came out last week or the week before. I think. Yeah, a lot of people were loving that one too, it seemed like. They were, they were. I really appreciate you doing that. Do you have anything else that, uh, to expand on that? It was about uh, social media and engagement, right? Yes. Yeah. So as far as kind of like the social media and also the lead magnet side of things, uh, pretty much what we were focusing on were really just getting yourself out into the market a little bit more, making sure that you have a way to capture people's leads, grab their email addresses, increase your database and grow that way. Because the reality of this business is you need to constantly be touching your what we call the sphere of influence. Your sphere of influence is the people that are always in your database, always kind of referring you out there and everything. And if you can provide some sort of lead magnet, whether it's travel guides, whether it is a destination blog, anything that you can provide to them on a complimentary basis, just to stay in front of them is a great resource. And you can parlay that into your social media side of things too, and create an entire content calendar around, let's say you wanted to give them some information about Barcelona. You could do an entire week's worth of content around the best restaurants in Barcelona, the best hotels, the best excursions, the best things to do, the best cruise lines, the best excursions, so on and so forth. And the list is just endless. And so I think it's really a great way to include marketability within your sales process. So if a travel agent has not been to Barcelona and they don't know all these things, what do you recommend as far as resources for them to build out this, uh, this content? Yeah. So we actually at TARC have travel guides for a lot of different destinations. You can go over to tatravelguides.com. Um, each one is about $25 or you can buy a bundle of five for a hundred right now. And we're constantly running promos. So feel free to reach out to us at admin, A-D-M-I-N at the tarp.com and ask us if we have any promotions currently going on for those. But if you don't have that, I say just do a little bit of Googling, reach out to your supplier partners, look into companies like Europe Express. And I'm not trying to name drop one over the other. I'm just giving you some examples. But companies like Europe Express, Avanti, GoWay, a lot of these companies already have ideas of things to do in each of their destinations that they're selling. So you can definitely go in, pull that content and post about it. And outside of that, a lot of these BDMs that work for these companies, the business development managers, for those of you who might not be um, too kind of in the industry yet, these are the sales reps that work for the suppliers, reach out to them and they have a lot of this kind of content or they can at least point you in the right direction to find it as well. That's uh, that's really good information. I'm going to look over here in the chat. I don't think we have, does anyone have any questions for Stephen? I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't because you've done a really thorough job of, of, of sharing there. Um, I will say you mentioned earlier um, as an attorney, Thomas Carpenter. He's one of the ones that I'm familiar with and he does do, um, he does do frequent, I think it's on YouTube. 
videos um, with information. He specializes in the travel industry. He actually is a travel advisor as well or has a, a travel company. Um, and so he is a really good one to follow, um, to get on his uh, in his Facebook group and follow there. So you can get a lot of, uh, of information there um, as far as, you know, making sure that you're doing all the things you need to do to protect yourself. So I don't see any questions and it doesn't seem like anyone is putting any in there. So um, do you have anything else that you would like to share that you'd like the people to know that you think is important for travel advisors to know nowadays? Um, nothing in particular. I would just say make sure that you guys are kind of staying on top of your business itself. A lot of travel advisors get so inundated of the day-to-day minutia of working with the clients, of invoicing your clients, sending out confirmations, learning about new suppliers and all this stuff, but they're really not focused on developing and building their agency properly. Mm -hmm. I would say even if it's on the low end of one day a week, just make sure you're spending time to build your business properly. And that's things like we were talking about the E&O insurance, making sure you have your terms and conditions, tweaking your website a little bit, making sure it has the right vibe and feel of your business, getting the time for your social media and your marketing, because I hate to say it, guys, people get busy. And the first thing that goes is marketing. They figure, you know what, I'm too busy to market right now. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put that on the back burner and I'll come down to it later when I need a new client. The problem with that is marketing takes three to six months. By the time that you need a new client, you're already too late. So if you start marketing today and you start setting yourself up with a social media calendar or a marketing plan for each month, then you can stay above that and not kind of worry about that on your day to day, but also not let it go to the wayside. That's that's excellent advice. You got to uh, we always called it in sales, keeping the pipeline full. Right. Absolutely. So you've always got this. They got them coming down from the time they learn about you until the time that they're ready to book. So you want to keep those people in, the, in the, all those little spaces. <laughs> Definitely, 100%. I'll tell you too, we do have, um, we partnered with uh, Bird Bergeron of the Travel Birds, and we created a um, sales strategies for travel professionals Facebook group. We mm -hmm. also have another Facebook group coming up for um, European travel sellers as well. So definitely keep your eyes out for any of these groups. They will also be listed on our website. Um, there's a list of different Facebook groups, whether I know you mentioned Lori Gold with the Resorts of the Riviera Maya. We have the resorts of Hawaii. We have a lot of different Facebook groups out there that are great resources for you to develop your business. We really do. And you have those listed on the TARC site? They are. Yep. It's uh, up at the top. There's a um, group for it's a drop down for Facebook groups. So you'll be able to see them all on there. We have, we have listings on our on a TA Toolkit as well. I'm going to have to go uh, scope out the, the TARC site and see if I've missed any. <laughs> Please do. Absolutely. Yeah, but there are, you're right, there are a lot of great resources out there, um, especially those two that you mentioned. I learned a lot from, from both of those, the Resorts of the Riviera Maya and the Resorts of Hawaii. Um, yeah, fantastic groups. So Absolutely. And I would say, too, uh, just keep an eye out. We have a lot of new resources that are being put together right now. We should have a big launch by um, the first of the year. We do have our events directory and our supplier directory. We're in the process of revamping all of that right now. And really, those are just quick ways to get in and learn um, which suppliers are for what destinations, what events are going on around the industry. Um, there's also a blog attached there where we have a lot of different answers that if you want to know the difference about a franchise, a host agency, or being independent, you want to know about developing a team. There's a lot of different blog resources in there as well. Yeah, well I wonder, so when we go over to that, thetark.com, is that what you said? Yep. The um, T A R C, um, sure. Travel Advisor Resource Center, right? Did I yep. that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's a mouthful, I know. <laughs> I just got to make sure I did set it right so people can find it. So, am I going to be able to get to any of this stuff if I'm not a a what a member or what what needs to be done? Is any of that information free? All of it is free. Um, every bit of information on our website is free. We do have some paid resources like our workflow templates, our legal templates with Lauren Score, like I mentioned. We also have a recognized travel advisor um, uh, certification course that is recognized by IATA, True, and a couple of the host agencies as well. 
Um, so really we have a lot of free and paid resources that you can access, but all of the free ones are exclusively complimentary. You don't need to sign up for a single thing. Um, we are launching next Tuesday a new newsletter that's going to go out every Tuesday. It's going to be Tark's Tuesday Tips, Tools, and Trends. So there's okay. going to be a lot of information that we're going to be providing you guys. <laughs> I love that. I like alliteration. So, okay. Well, I think unless you've got anything else, um, I think that we can just say thank you so much for taking the time to be on here today. I know that took away from your business uh, um, a little bit. and. Thank you to everyone else who came in today. I hope you found some value. Uh, we try to bring you something that uh, that you can learn or a resource you can learn about, uh, that kind of thing. So we've got some people saying thank you and that they're going to check out TARC. And so that's good news. And um, we will uh, we look forward to hearing more from you in the future, Stephen, and, and wishing you all the best luck with your businesses. Thank you so much. And again, thank you very much for uh, letting me come on here and hosting this. And we'll definitely see you soon. All right. Thanks, Stephen. Bye-bye. Have a good one. And oh, real quick, Dorothy, it is ztark.com, right? I got that right. ztark.com. All Correct. right. Yep. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.